Macho calls me up one time. I got this beautiful brand new Jaguar. He goes, I need you to get on a plane. I want you to drive me home to Florida. We're not going to stop Macho, right? He goes, no, I promise you I'm going to behave. I said, okay. We get in this car, we're driving. We, we're hitting close to Texas. I said, let's pull over for the night. He goes, no, you just need to close your eyes for a little bit. I'll keep driving. And I'm like, macho. He goes, I'm okay. I'm gonna, I won't go speed. I said, okay. And I fall asleep. I don't know how long I was closed my eyes, but it wasn't long. He taps me on my shoulder. He goes, hey, I need money for the toll. And I'm like, the, the toll? And I open my eyes and I see the border. We're on the line to the border into Mexico. I'm like, what are you doing? The patrol looks and they wait for us to go into the security check. And I'm like, it's okay, Macho, no problem. I'll, I'll take care of this. I'll let me talk. He goes, yeah, but that's not the problem. I got a little present in the trunk. I got a, I got a kilo in the trunk. And I said, okay, Macho, put the top down. Where was a convertible jack? And I need you to do macho time right now, right here. We push the top down. He jumps up out of this car. He jumps onto the hood of this $90,000 Jag. And he stands up and he's screaming, where's Chavez? Everybody went crazy. The Border Patrol comes. Everybody started, come on, Joe. The Border Patrol guy passes me with a dog. The dog goes crazy. The dog starts barking and scratching. I look in the rear mirror, and the Border Patrol takes the dog and hits him with the dog. He goes, shut up, that's Camacho. I saw the dog's face. The dog looked like... And they open the border, and they make us make a U-turn. We turn around. We get out of the border, and he is white as a ghost. And I look at him, he goes, don't say nothing to me, because I just changed my life. So he goes, pull over right now. I pull over, he opens the trunk, he takes out a, a tire iron, and he digs a hole on the side of the highway and he buries this thing. He goes, that's it, I'm, it's over for me. That changed my life. I'm like, good, because you know what? I'm tired. Let's go stop at a hotel because you just you just messed up our schedule. He goes, yeah, you're right. So we go. We go in the hotel, we check in. I go to sleep. I must have woken up two or three hours later. I wake up and he's nowhere about and he's gone. I'm like, did he just leave and put me through all this shit? When all of a sudden, the door opens up and he's covered in dirt. I'm like, dude, what do you do? He goes, do you remember where I parked and pulled and buried? I said, yeah, but he spent the whole night just digging holes trying to find his lost treasure. I winded up dropping him off two days later. I said, Amy, here he is. I don't want to talk to him for a year.